so. The unity awaits. I'm not as afraid as I thought I would be. Stepping away from the world you know can lead to a better place. That is not what I meant. I... I would not want to leave it behind so easily either. I just meant that life keeps going. Even when you have lost everything. Do you think we will see each other after the unity? Will we even recognize each other if we do? Part of me does not want to. I could stay here with everyone, with you. But I will step into the beyond whenever you are ready. I know this is what we have all been working for. Fortunate that Walter has used his considerable funds to maintain the lodge, are we not? Tip your ear for a moment. Come now. Ah, it'll be a shame to pack up all the modifications to the eye for finding the artifacts. But she's earned a break. Gilded our fortunes for sure. Aye, I'll drink to that. I'll be taking up the chair when everyone's gone in the Unity. Set Constellation's course for another new beginning. Not my first time at the helm for a crew, but going to take it slow. Uh, don't know about that. Intend to keep teaching folks how to play the Troublemaker's game. No use being an explorer if you aren't a little dangerous. Well, tipped your ear long enough. I'll be smiling as you walk through Eternity's Gate. Give the next universe something to talk about, yeah? Really, Walter? Always knew there we could pull this something. off. Finally! These new universes won't know what hit them. Forget about the Starborn and the Hunter. It's Barrett and company from here on out. I suppose we can do that. Classic. Look, if this is the are we doing this or not talk, then stop right there. We're doing this. The multiverse waits for no one. You see? That's your lizard brain talking. Fear causes people to want to huddle up, protect what they have. It's up to us to show them there's more out there. Now, I'm willing to risk everything for a shot at the unknown any day of any reality. Now, let's do this. Come now. You must let me contribute. Take a break. Let's, let's get a chat. second opinion, shall we? Walter and I were just discussing the expenses incurred during the attack. No, I was explaining that there's nothing to discuss. It's been taken care of. It seems that Walter has taken it upon himself to cover the costs of the repairs to both the Lodge and the Eye. As well as any expenses relating to the... to the funeral services. Sam was a good man. It's the least I could do.
None of us would be here without the others. We're all incredibly indebted to one another. Well, I can't thank you enough, Walter. Sarah, I know we argue about money all the time. Most of it is in jest, but occasionally it's not. This is the one way I can best contribute to our work. It has been, and continues to be, an honor to do so. And when this is all over, we can go back to squabbling about minor expenses. But it was important to me that I do this. Fair enough. Well, since we're already talking about this, there is one more thing I'd like to do for Sam, and I'd like to get your opinion. Nothing extravagant, just a small plaque here in the lodge. Something to remember them by. Where do you think would be appropriate? I hadn't thought of that. Hmm, that's a nice idea. Any objections, Walter? No. I think this is a fine idea. Then it's settled. I'm glad we had this discussion. And now, perhaps we can try and move on. Yes. I think that's right. So this is it. This armillary can finally be assembled. And the Starborn assure that something will happen on the other side. Something that will make us like them. Funny. I thought after all this time I'd be screaming in excitement to jump into the unknown, but I feel like I'm hesitating. I was just taking for granted that Constellation would keep going past the end. But we don't know what's waiting for us. Say we go to the Unity, become Starborn, enter another universe. Will there even be a constellation there? It won't be ours, even if it is. I don't know about you, but after all this, there's no way I can just stop. I have to know what happens, what this was all for. But if you need time, I can wait. We wouldn't be here without you, so we can let you do the honors whenever you're ready. I'm we should all have ears. a talk when you have the time, of course. Do you have a second, friend? I've thought about it, and as much as I would love to see the unity the way Keeper Aquilus has experienced it, I'm not coming with you. Thank you. I know this is probably coming as a surprise. I think I need to look for my answers here in this universe. And I can't leave my parents. I know they would understand, but they're not getting any younger. You too. I know I'm flaking out at the end, but I'm glad I was a part of all this. Artifacts are all gathered. We've done it. There's nothing like an investment paying off. We've succeeded beyond my wildest dreams. Everyone should feel proud.
Oh, no. This moment isn't about my corporate holdings, no. Being part of Constellation was... just for me. Although there's always opportunities, I'm not above taking advantage of what we learn as a group. <laughs> Alas, while I would like to take the final jump with everyone, I'm afraid the saying, you can't take it all with you, has caught up to me. There might not be a Stroud Eklund in the next universe, and certainly not mine. And I would be a poor choice of company if I was, well, poor. You see, that's a bad lesson to teach. Time is money, and an interest on a loan is the incentive to remember that. Goodbye, my friend. If I could borrow a bit from Sebastian Banks, bring light into the darkness of the unknown. We're so close. So I know we aren't keeping all the artifacts here anymore, but I think I can get some good readings from your ship. You have no idea how excited I am to analyze the data after you jump to the Unity. I'm gonna make some coffee. Pull an all-nighter. What? No, no, no. I do not do field work, especially not the restructuring yourself at the molecular level kind. Or whatever the Unity actually does to make you starborn. Anyway, Vladimir and I have been talking, and we're both staying here. Someone has to keep Constellation going with so many people leaving. It'll be pretty quiet at first, but that's what Constellation has been doing forever, right? An old generation moves on, a new one moves in. <laughs> Maybe one day. For now, I think I'm better off letting Vladimir have that headache. Okay, I promised myself I wouldn't cry. <laughs> and I'm sticking to that. So, goodbye. I'll miss you all.
Hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived. Any adventure you can fly away from. Is, is that what the saying goes? Thank you. 
You made it. I hope you're enjoying the view. I never get tired of staring at it. Eternity. A thought occurs. Can anyone ever truly experience reality outside of oneself? All of time and space filters through a singular perspective. I am as much you as you are a part of everything. All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place. The unity. I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? Fair. I wonder what your decision will be then. In order to become Starborn, you must give the universe one last thing. Yourself. That intangible part of you. That something that makes you unique amongst the infinite will explode like a supernova. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe, while another part leaves it behind forever. Do you understand what I mean? This one final leap will change this universe forever, even as you leave it behind. Unknowingly, you just answered your own questions. For who creates things but creators? That is what they have been named throughout the endless circle of time. Are they one or many? Human or alien? Terrestrial or celestial? One day, you might even meet the creators, but not this day. As for the why, so that you could ask that very question. So that you could stand before me for time immemorial and delve into the mysterious of the unending cosmos. Much like the death of a star creates new kinds of matter, so will the part of your being become fused with the unity itself. That part is what becomes Starborn and crosses into the multiverse. Through your eyes, it will be as if waking up from a dream. Walk into the gate of light and you will become Starborn. Everything will vanish and you will awaken somewhere else. But that isn't your only potential destiny. You can turn around, walk away from the unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your own ship, in your universe. You could live out the life you have. I have enjoyed speaking to you once again. All of you. Every version that is here in the Unity, right now. Go out into the stars. As you consider stepping towards infinity, I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe you may be leaving. As the essence of who you are is spread throughout space and time.
By defeating both the hunter and the emissary, the path to the unity in this universe is left for the people of the settled systems to discover on their own. Uninterrupted by powerful Starborn. Ready to head out again when you are. I did not think I would see you again. I almost walked in myself, but I thought, what if someone else came back? And they were alone. But at some point, you will. The unity may wait forever, but there will come a day when we cannot remain together. No matter how much we wish it. Still, I will remember the moment when you chose me. Over the infinite. Now that you have seen the unity, what are your thoughts? The Starborn believe they are competing with each other. With us. I wonder if the unity causes this, or if it is just them. 
There is a part of me that still believes you should go. That the unity is the last step on this journey. Now that you are back, I am not sure what I think. Perhaps Constellation is worth holding on to. Even with the feeling of destiny in the distance. Yes? You need something? I am here, if you need me. Such beauty in the midst of nothingness. 